All right, so let's get started with the builds. All right, <clears throat> so one of the builds that um I have not tried this yet, but I know that this is going to be a good build. It's going to be this one right here. So first things first, you would want to place a low foundation, and then honestly, with the next couple of foundations, it's it's my guess. You could put it however you want. I like to do triangle, square, and then another couple of triangles. And I messed up on that one. You kind of want to make this triangle low to the ground. That way it helps with the forges. But obviously in this terrain it's not going to work. So you should always check that type of stuff. Now when it comes to this. This bunker base. I love this bunker base due to this design. Oh. Uh. It's a nice bunker base for the solo player, in my opinion, because what is the m what is the main thing that we come across when it comes to bunker bases? The fact that every single time you have to break something and then you have to replace it, it could get expensive. Like, you know, if it's metal and it's a triangle foundation, like the stability bunker, that every single time you got to break it, it's going to be 75 metal. And as a solo player, even though that might not sound like a lot, it could be a lot when you're doing it, it over and over. Yeah, when you're doing it that many times over again, it adds up. So this is pretty much the idea behind this bunker. You want to, after you do this right here, you could build it however you like. But the whole point concept of this is going to be you want to have a low foundation and a high one. Then you're going to place the roof here. Is it triangle or a normal roof? It's a normal roof. And then after that, you're going to do a roof triangle to the side right over here. So you see it spreads open like, oh, snap, that's cool. So obviously, just like the the, the other bunkers, you want to upgrade them to what both of them at the same time. So now, if you want to head out, obviously, you would just go this way. You'd be like, all right, cool. Like, let me go outside, you know. And let's say, like, your door is right here, right? For it. For the demonstration purposes, let me just stone this out and then we we'll just won't put the door. So like, let's say it's like, all right, cool. That's yeah. the door, right? And then you go back in and that's so cool, right? All right, dope. Now, maybe make that a garage door. So now if you want to seal this bunker for the night, all you got to do is put this. You put right, a, it seals it. That's it. And it seals it completely. And then when you want to open it, you just break it. And then boom, now it's, you know, right? perfect right the best part about this is that there is no way that they could um you know attack this that foundation even if they were to hit this with rockets if i'm not mistaken even if they were to hit this with this like did it do any damage to it no well you might no no i didn't i was like i know some of the stuff is going to take damage because i don't have a tc down and then the best part is, like, let's say they do make it in, and they're like, all right, well, we're raiding this guy. So they're like, well, whatever. We're going to soft side this part, right? Even if they were to soft side this, I see the break of the bunker is still sealed. And then if you come inside and you're like, oh, snap. Nah, now, you know, my bunker has been busted. All you got to do is just literally replace this if somebody was really clowning you. You just got to replace this. If it lets me, there you go. And then, boom, that's it. Your bunker's going to go. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, baby. And then, oh, this is that thing, right? This little thing so I can't replace. Yeah, it takes 30 seconds for it to clear. Oh, yeah, but you get the point. Now, if I want to seal, seal this bunker back up, and that's it. We're good to go. And now we open it like that. Perfect, right? There you go. And then you can really... Perfect kind of go as your heart desired because honestly for me one of the hardest things about <clears throat> living on like on a two by one um on a two by one bunker base like something like let's say something this is like the simplest two by one stability bunker i could think of right now right yes this will be like your basic two by one bunker base right here yes <clears throat> yes you know and then whenever you want to seal this up you're gonna have to break this you're gonna have to um 
essentially do this every single time. You're going to have to do this, and then you're going to have to do this. And then, you know, you're going to metal that out or whatever it is. And then every single time you spawn inside your base, you're going to break this, and it's going to open up the bunker. So as you see, it, it, could, it could add up to, you know, eventually. Obviously, if it's stone, you know, but it's going to add up. Also, one of the biggest things about this, uh, the stability bunker that a lot of people forget is that people could soft side your things if they really want to be cheap about it. Sometimes people don't realize this when they're raiding, but they could just soft side either this foundation or this, this foundation. Or this one, yeah. This one. It's yeah. dirty. Yeah, like they could soft side this. So essentially what you want to do is you would want to probably reinforce those. You know? That way um that doesn't happen. So because somebody could just do Let's say like they come in and they're like, oh, wow. So they know for a fact now that this is going to be a roof piece. So they could literally just soft side this or soft side this. And then your thing is done. So like if they were to soft side this, boom, now they're in the bunker. You know? And how easy is that? Like, here you go. Look. Boom. What's that? Boom. What's yeah, that? It's just, yeah, that's it. It's, you know, just a little nice juicy jackhammer action right there. And then boom, now that's it, you know? That's what a lot of times what people would do is that they would stack ceilings on top of this, which I feel like that's too much. The whole point of this is that you want to make it as cheap as possible. That way you can be out and playing the game because nothing beats <clears throat> playing the game. Nothing's going to be uh, you being able to play the game rather than you are always constantly farming, you know. Also, another thing that you could do is that if you build something this small, then you could just head out and like you know build another one of these somewhere else and then you could constantly have bases all around the map so you could always if you get raided you're not wiped and let's be real who's trying to raid a two by one you know when somebody sees this look how small this is somebody sees this and they're not even going to bother or if they do they're just going to get through the first two doors and they're going to be like oh wow we just made it through i just wasted i don't know eight satchels in this now do i really want to stand here and jackhammer this or do i just call it a day you know a lot of times they will stay here and jackhammer it but nine times out of ten they're just gonna be like yeah i can't be bothered like it's probably not even worth and they'll just leave and then you know you could just build another one of these <coughs> this for a long time was my to go thing a two by one bunker like this simple gets the job done why not I think actually, um, now that we're here, somebody actually told me, they were like, why did you go through okay. the roof? Because there was a person that were, they were watching one of my raid videos and they were like, hey, why did you go through the roof? You wasted 10 satchels instead of just going through the doors and just, you know, being, being good to go. And I'm like, well, a lot of times people have a double door or a garage door to seal up their, um, their actual TC room. Yeah. If you guys didn't know that, sometimes it's probably cheaper for you to go through the ceiling than it is through doors. Especially if you have a good a good kind of like dissection, like say if you figure like if you figure if you see something like this, obviously you know that the the TC is probably going to be here. Right? You for sure know, okay, TC is going to be here. So why would I want to go through two doors and a potential garage door? Two doors alone are going to be four, eight satchels. And then a garage door is going to be nine satchels. So you're better off just going through here. You're in the loot room now. You wasted an extra two satchels. And that's it. And now you're in the loot room. <clears throat> and you could just destroy the CC and loot the, the boxes. And this probably will be closed. You know. Worst case scenario, this is closed. And you're like, oh, well, whatever. I'll just get my stuff and then leave. You know. Best case scenario, the guy forgot to log. Uh, forgot to close it when you locked down. And now you have access to his like other stuff like workbench and you could pick it up or you could even just, you know, make this bunker yourself. <laughs> so that's like one of the things, like I said, there's, there's bright things and bad things on it. And then, you know, we have the wedge, which is what, what Jay did. You know, Jay, do you want to, you want to slap that down right here? Oh, you're playing with toys over there. Yeah. Or you can always just get raided by MLRS. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you get raided by... Yeah, you gotta get raided. Then at that point, it's just like, you know, what's the point? Yeah. 
Oh, Ready? Look at this. Go ahead. Where are those missiles going? Oh, that's so beautiful, man. Okay, ready? You would like, uh, you want me to do the wedge right here, or are you gonna do it? It's... Oh, I was kind of messing around with it right now. Okay, go with, go for it, go with it, baby. Oh, Show me what's up. Let's see those cheeks in action, boy. Show me them cheeks, man. Yo, yo, yo. Show me them cheeks, man. What? <laughs> what are you saying? Yo, yo, yo. Show me them cheeks, man. <laughs> like, I'm you gonna saying? watch from here like a creep. Yeah, show me those cheeks, man. Anyway, so this is essentially what Jay Watch calls this. the wedge. The wedge. I like to build it a little different than he does. Not not a huge change though. Like what about this one? Is this creepy? Yeah, it's this a is little creepy. creepy. What are you doing? It's a little creepy. Come, on, come out your front door. Is yeah, that weird? Yeah. No, it's not weird. Are you just you know you're inspecting? You're being a manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like loot inspectors. Yeah, loot inspector city over there. And then you yeah, yeah. just want to place the roof right here. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, there it is. Hey, let's not forget this. This is probably the most important part of the bunker. Ready? I'm going to help out here. Don't throw some of that oh, on there. Oh, dude, cakes. I love throw, cakes, throw, bro. Throw some of that on here. Please do, man. Put some of that in here. I got you, baby. Please. Oh, you know me so well. I like how it's got like a candle on it that says nine. Yeah, because they know what's up. Want some cakes? Dude, I love these cakes. Look at this. I could pick up all the cakes I want. Because Rust is nine years old. It is not. Yeah, dude, it's old. And then, you know, if you want to seal the bunker, obviously it's going to be right here if it lets me place it. You know, with all those cakes. Yep. Still did. Cool. So the cakes won't block it. Obviously, you're going to want to place your roof. <laughs> Don't be like me. This would be like the wedge. I really like the wedge. As a, as a solo player, I feel like it's something you could get up and running. The, there's, there is downsides to the wedge. Like somebody could just... I mean, you literally are putting roof pieces on your, on your thing. Somebody could just walk up and like camp you up here. You know? That's the only downside to it, but uh, other than that, I don't really You want to see the airlock that goes in the front? You won't. You want me to? Can I? Yeah, dude, go ahead. Here, stand right up here and float so you can see it. So, like, uh, BioLaser's got the uh, the standard bunker part. So, like, and this doesn't take much. So, you take this and, whoops, you delete that. Sorry. <laughs> Make that. <laughs> I forgot, I don't have to see. And then I just put one stone wall here right and then i put a uh, a metal door right right here right and then the rest of this is just like wood and wooden doors because it helps really disguise what's going on here like straight up just crusty wood right just crusty crusty wood with wooden locks it really helps add to the illusion you make right it sounds so nasty Oh, dude, it is. It's gross. It's gross. Crusty it's absurd. Wood. Crusty, nasty. And then here's here's what stops that camping from the rooftop. And I usually make these stone. If I can afford this top piece all um, stone, I'll do it. But sometimes I can't. Sometimes I'll make this wood. I'll definitely make this wood here. And then uh, stone. And what's beautiful about this crusty, nasty... Yeah, it's Jeez. all wood right there. And then we go boom, boom, boom. And then you've got airlocks to go in and out. You're protected. So, like, somebody can't sit on your rooftop necessarily and, like, harass you. You can just, mm -hmm. like, enter and leave to the bottom here. You have three entrances. You've got these here. You throw a couple of furnaces right here. That's always nice. Jump up here. Right? Yeah, and, like, your airlock's protected. Like, your main uh, bunker part. I'm just going to put a twig right here because I can't make jumps. And then you can put extra boxes up here in the top. So, like, it, dude, it's super cheap, right? Look, and then you've got this door out here. So when you can afford to add a second floor, if you want to, you don't have to, 
you could um, knock this frame out and then make it a garage door because then it's not as important if you've got your second floor up there. But like, you're good to go. So like, this guy that tries to come up on your rooftop, you can just block him out. You can either put a wooden wall here, and now they can't run up your ceiling like that. Mm -hmm. What are they gonna do? Jump around? Yeah, look, and then people are gonna see this and be like, "What the heck is going on here, bro?" Yeah, they're gonna go. This person clearly is blind. <laughs> it's like this person is not <sighs> symmetrical, and let's just leave it while we still can. Yeah, this doesn't look like anything, and so you're like, "Yeah, let's." This guy doesn't know what's going on, and it's just enough. Like all you really need is enough to cover your front door here, and that's it. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to put metal doors on here. You could just leave them as wood. Yep, hundred percent. And then it would probably kite people in. And it's just yeah. enough to keep people off your back. Yeah, literally. And yeah, you see this mixture of materials and people are like, This is trash. Yeah, they and lose like, their mind. You're like, yeah. You don't wanna you don't wanna raid that. Yeah, so yeah, don't raid that. It's it's trash. Why would you raid trash? And watch, I've got some comments on uh some of the times we've used this people are like, What is that base? I'm like, perfect. So what you're telling me is you wouldn't waste your time. Mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. the whole and you got nice little spots for uh, solar panels on the top. Yeah, the whole point with Russ is just, you know, that's literally the major thing. Like, you know, being able to build um, the solar panels now that electricity is going to come out. You know, you want to be able to uh, have people here camping your stuff so you could always build the solar panels all the way up here. That way people just can't like come up here and